What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 7. Two-factor authentication helps you secure your account from all types of threats and it also gives you a free boogie down emote. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to turn it on super simply, and this method works on every single platform. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this video, but real quick before we do that, I just want to remind you guys that I am still gifting my subscribers whatever they want from the item shop. So if you want to have a chance to get a free gift from me, it could be pretty much anything you want from the Fortnite item shop, like any skin, bundle, back, link, pickaxe, wrap, emote, anything from the item shop, including the Chapter 7 Season 1 Battle Pass. All you guys want to go ahead and do for a chance to get a free gift from me is just subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and comment down below your Epic Games username so I can obviously add you and send you the gift. If you end up winning, good luck. Okay, so just like I told you guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 7. And like I said in the beginning, two-factor authentication basically helps you add another layer of security to your Fortnite account and your Epic Games account. And it also gives you a free boogie down emote. So basically, if I go into my locker like this, and then go into my locker just like that, and then if I go into my emotes, you guys can see I have the boogie down emote over here. Hold on, let me go up here. There you go. And I have the boogie down emote over here, as you guys can see. It's a free emote. It's also OG. This was added back in season one, chapter one, season one. As you guys can see, it's actually really cool. You can get this for completely free. And all you have to do is just turn on two-factor authentication. So it's a win-win. You both secure your account and get a free emote as you guys can see just like this now let's go ahead and show you how you guys can go and turn on a two-factor authentication here inside of fortnite chapter 7 and like i said this method works on every single platform so even if you're playing on pc if you're playing on any console your mobile phone it doesn't matter you can use this method to go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication so without further ado let's just jump straight into it Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to actually go ahead and load up into the main lobby of Fortnite, just like this, as you guys can see. After you guys go ahead and make your way into the main lobby of Fortnite, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is look to the top right of your screen, and you can see the character, the skin you're using, and it's going to have like that little three lines icon right next to it, and all you have to do is actually press that button, and once you guys press that button, it's going to go ahead and open up this side menu for you. Now, once you open up this side menu, what you need to do is to actually come over here like this, and then you guys will see all these different tabs. So starting from the top, we're gonna have this tab code social, and then underneath this, we have add friends, and then underneath that, we're gonna have looking for party, and then one underneath it, we're gonna have voice chat, and at the very bottom, we're gonna have this tab called menu. So what you guys are gonna wanna go ahead and do is to make your way into this tab called menu. After coming into this tab, you're going to see a bunch of other sections located over here. So we're going to have settings, we have parental controls, we have reporting, we have support and refunds, and then at the very bottom, we're going to have legal. So from these tabs, what you guys need to do is to actually go all the way to the top and press on settings. So after pressing on settings, it's going to take you into the main settings menu of Fortnite, just like this, as you guys can see. And once you guys have made your way into the main settings menu of Fortnite, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see it says video. So what we need to do is to actually go scroll to the right side. So if I press the button once, it's going to go into audio. If I press it again, it's going to go into communication. And we just got to keep doing this one more time. Like game, we're going to do it again. Game UI, touch and motion, mouse and keyboard, keyboard controls, controller, controller mapping, account and privacy so this is a tab we need to actually go to it's going to be at the very right it's called account and privacy now once you guys have made your way into this tab called account and privacy what we need to do in order to go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication here inside of fortnite chapter 7 is going to be like this now once we're here guys you're going to see to your left we're going to have all these different sections so we have accounts we have clipping we have social privacy we have gameplay privacy we have credits and then we have legal so from these tabs, what you guys need to do is to actually make your way to this tab called social privacy. Once you guys go into here, you're going to see all these different settings. So we have these four different settings within this social privacy tab. So we have friend invite permission, 
we have can receive gifts, we have the party join ability, and then we have see confrontational emotes. So now what we need to do once we actually load up all these settings over here is to go up here and find this setting called can receive gifts. It's gonna be right in between friend web permission and party join ability. Now once you guys find this can receive gift setting, what we need to do is to actually go ahead and turn it on. Now I already have it on, but if you have it off, all you have to do is go like this and then make it on. Now the reason we're doing this because I've seen some people complain that they were not able to get the boogie down emotes because they forgot the setting as off. Now I'm not entirely sure if that's factual, but I think there's no reason to risk this and just, you know, obviously let's go ahead and just turn this on. Like what do we have to lose? So that's the reason we're doing this. Once you guys go ahead and turn on can receive gifts, what you need to do is you're gonna look at the top, uh, bottom right of your screen. It's gonna say apply. Press that button to apply the setting. And just like that, we have applied it. After you guys go ahead and set this setting to on just like that, the next thing you need to do is to go ahead and press the back button like that. And once you guys press it for the second time, it's gonna take you back into the main lobby of Fortnite just like this. So obviously we have not turned on two-factor authentication yet. There's one last thing we need to do and this is like very important. So make sure you guys pay attention to this part because this is the most important part. Now, after we do this inside of Fortnite, we cannot do the next step inside of Fortnite. So what we need to do is unfortunately we have to leave Fortnite to do this next step. And this is the last step. Make sure you guys follow this very carefully. Now, what we need to do to go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite. Now, this could depend on what uh, platform you're on. So make sure you guys pay attention to this part. If you're playing on PC, all you have to do is just go to your PC and go to any browser. Like this is very simple. If you're on mobile, you can do the same thing. Go to any browser. If you're on console, if your console allows you to go onto a browser, just go onto any browser, very simple. If it doesn't allow you to do that, you can use a phone or another PC and go into a browser. Now, once you guys have done that, all you need to do is search up www.epicgames.com, the official website of Epic Games. Make sure you guys go into the official websites and not any other fake websites. And once you go into www.epicgames.com, I'm gonna show you guys the next step right now. So load up into that website, and once you're there, I'm gonna show you the next step. All right, so after you guys go ahead and load up inside of the epicgames.com website, this is what you're gonna be seeing on your screen. We have like a bunch of different games and stuff like that, but we're here to turn on the two-factor authentication. So here's how you guys do that. From this page, look at the top right corner where you guys can see this little icon right here. So bring your cursor on top of that icon and go down to where it says account and click right here. After you guys click account, it's gonna go ahead and take you over to this page. So as you guys can see, it normally takes you to the account settings part, but I just switched to the redeem code part because there are some private information right here. But basically after you guys go ahead and load up right here, you're gonna see all these different sections. So we have account settings, email preferences, payment management, transactions, epic rewards, subscriptions, password and security, in-game currency, parental controls, EULA history, apps and accounts, creator programs, and marketplace seller. So after you guys go ahead and basically make your way to this page right here, what you need to do is go to the password and security tab right here. So click on it just like this. After clicking on it here, once you guys load up inside of the password and security part, what you need to do is really simple. Just scroll down slowly and you guys are gonna find the two-factor authentication part right down here at the bottom. So as you guys can see, there are three different methods you guys can turn on two-factor authentication. The first one is a two-factor authenticator app. So you basically set up an app from your phone and you link it here. So whenever you are gonna log on from like a new device or something, it sends a specific code to your phone in that app and then you can just like pretty much put it right here. This is kind of a hard way to do it. We have email, which is pretty easy. You just put in your email and they send you a mail when you wanna log in to your account. And then we have SMS, which is also really simple. It just sends you a short message when you wanna go ahead and log into your account. It sends you a code from there and you just put in the code and then you can go ahead and log in. So it's really up to you which one you wanna choose. I chose email, but you can choose multiple as well. It is better to set up multiple for better protection. But if you wanna just get the emote for free, all you need to do is just choose either one of these. It really doesn't matter which one you choose, just like I said, and click on setup right next to it and just set it up. It's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. It's actually really easy to set it up and you probably won't run into any problems, but if you do so, and if you can't figure out how to set it up, you can simply click on this how-to video and it's gonna go ahead and take you to the official video made by Epic Games showing you how to exactly set up the two-factor authentication. But yeah, that is how you guys can go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite. 
After you turn it on, the first time you log into Fortnite, you're going to be granted the boogie down emote for 100% free. And you can still do this in Chapter 5 Season 2 as well. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe with the post notifications turned on so that you're not going to miss out on any future uploads from me. So I will see you guys later on a different videos. Take care.